So we're here in the WAMDA studio at ArabNet with Barry Newstead, uh, the Chief Global Development Officer of Wikimedia. Barry, how are you? I'm great. It's great to be here. Great to be in Beirut. You guys had an event last night um, at Mezian in Beirut. How did that go? It was fantastic. Uh, first of all, it was really good to get a sense of uh, the, the vibe and the culture in Beirut in general. And then it was a great opportunity to meet with some folks who are doing uh, fascinating work on the internet and uh, you know get some get some of their advice and thoughts on how we build uh, the Arabic uh, Wikipedia projects. And what is what is Wikimedia and Wikipedia doing in the region? So we are we're very much focused on the growth of our, of our Arabic language projects. Uh, as you may know, we have a relatively small Arabic Wikipedia. Um, it's about 150,000 articles and about 600 regular contributors. And we're trying to scale that up to, you know, a dramatically higher level, you know, to the, le to the levels like that we see in German, Spanish, uh, English, you know, millions of articles um, and a really, really deep content repository that people can access, you know, in their own language here in the Arab region. And um, we recently announced, I think a couple months back or a month back, your collaboration with AUC, American University in Cairo. How has that been going? How's that developing? So it's actually with Cairo University uh, and Anshad's University. Um, it's it's off to a nice start. It's a small pilot where we're uh, where students are uh, either creating creating new articles in Arabic on subjects that they're studying, it's like mathematics, uh, or they're translating parts of students in uh, French and Spanish classes are translating articles from Spanish and French into into Arabic and helping to expand uh, the Arabic Wikipedia. So it's off to a nice start. We'd like to see it uh, develop throughout the semester, uh, but we hope that this is a, uh, an approach that we can use across the region where you know students can really engage in building Arabic Wikipedia. If you think about all the subjects that are being studied in, uh, in universities and all the papers that are being written, uh, wouldn't it be amazing if those, rather than writing those papers and putting them in the garbage afterwards, that the, that the, the work that students put in actually become part of uh, the Arabic internet and, and you know more specifically Arabic Wikipedia. So is the goal when it comes to developing Arabic content on the web to enhance that academic deep content? What's your ultimate vision of what what this will achieve? So indeed that's part of the goal. I mean uh, you know we're ultimately an educational project. There's there's tons of things you can find on Wikipedia as you may know. Uh, pop culture, you know, football, um, you know Television shows, but but at the core, I mean, the, the academic content, the the you know the things that people can learn learn from uh, uh, is 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 vital to what we to what we do, and so we hope that these these academic partnerships will allow us to create that kind of uh, Wikipedia in, in Arabic. Do you think it's simply also about transforming the mindset to encourage people to post online? It, I mean, it very much is. I mean, I think it's critical that. Uh, Critical to our success that people take the view that they have something to share. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be, you know, the whole the whole uh, you know exposition on on a on a given top subject. It can just be a small kernel. So we really want to help uh, create a mindset in the region that those small contributions, you know, when we add it across you know millions of people, can create something incredible. And that's really the story of Wikipedia around the world. And nobody nobody has all the answers. We don't have a publishing. Uh, team or a set of editors who do all the work. Um, it's 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 it, each individual person creating their pr providing their little uh, nugget of, of knowledge to share, and then people improving it and them improving other people's work. That's how it works. So you need a sort of level of comfort and confidence to just put it out there and share it. Right. Do you think there's any particular reason that this region is? I don't want to say behind others, but the, why this hasn't taken on taken off in Arabic here? Is it, a, is it a language enabling thing on, on Wikipedia or? I mean, um, I'm far from the expert on this subject. I mean, I've, I, I don't know very little uh, about the culture here in the region. I mean, I think that certainly the Arab internet and the tools, whether it be typing tools or search tools, um, have, have lagged, you know, say in other, uh, other um, languages. Um, that's changing now very quickly. Um, and I think th those those kind of technical barriers, as they fall away, then we have the ability to really crank up the amount of content contribution. It's just a lot easier if you know how to type, you know, on an Arabic keyboard. Then it's going to be a lot easier for you to contribute. If you can if you can find stuff on an Arabic search engine, um, it's a lot easier for you to to work. So those technical barriers 
may, may have delayed the growth uh, of our projects. And then I'm sure there are some cultural nuances and differences that, uh, that really need to be accounted for as you know, our community, our Arabic community, you know, the Wikipedia is built, Arabic Wikipedia is built by Arab, uh, Arabs, um, that they need to kind of address what are some of the cultural nuances and differences that need to be incorporated into the projects here to enable them to grow. Makes sense. And then of course people just have to know that you can edit Wikipedia. Most people have no idea uh, that that's actually how it gets built. Right, it's community based. Um, so tell me about Wikipedia Loves Monuments. What is that? So this is a great community-based initiative that was started in the Netherlands by you know, a group of volunteers. Um, and they've scaled it up now uh, you know, across Europe and they're about to sort of scale it around the world. And it's, it's quite simply, it started as a, as a photo competition where you know, people go around their cities and their towns and they photograph you know, monuments, they photograph uh, uh, notable sites. And, uh, and, you know, it's not always, you know, it, it could be buildings, it could be monuments, it could be, you know, important national, uh, natural sites. And they enter the competition and they upload the results into our, our uh, photo repository called Wikimedia Commons. And then the winners get, you know, uh, uh, prizes and a reward. But most importantly, it's an opportunity for people to join a community to capture really important sites about where they live. Um, and then ultimately, we'd also like to see then those pictures turn into Wikipedia articles, so people people can write about, you know, the, their Parliament building or, you know, an historical site. So it's a, a way to kind of expand the content that's available on Wikipedia and also give people a really simple introduction to contributing to a socially good project. And of course, people know how to upload photos onto the web, uh, as we see with Facebook and Flickr and these things. So this is a slightly different way to do the same thing. So it opens the door. Exactly. Into, into exactly. the idea. What, what constitutes a monument? I mean, could I go just take a photo of, a, of an old building that I really enjoy in Beirut? Or? I think that's exactly it. I mean, you know, some, some countries have registries and, and whatnot, but ultimately it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a place of significance uh, in the environment, you know, or in the culture or, this, or in the social space. I think that's generally the rule. So an old, a beautiful old building um, that has some relevance, whether it's architectural relevance or uh, or something important happened there is a perfect example. Um, a park, you know, where there was, you know, important social activities might be might be the case. I see. And it's, it's really open to interpretation. There's, you know, nothing gets declined. <laughs> cool. And so it's fully global. Anyone in the region can join and start uploading things. Yes, and we'll, we'll, we'll probably run it as a campaign so people will know about it. They'll know... Uh, you know, when it starts, when it ends, who, who, are, what are the, some of the brilliant uh, photographs that are incorporated will be, will be um, highlighted in, you know, on Wikipedia and, and elsewhere. Very cool. Well, keep right. us posted. I will do. All right. Thanks for chatting with us. Thanks. Thanks for having us.